Alright, look. Hit the like button. Hit the sub button. Hit the notification bell. You understand me? Subscribe to my channel. Join this Fisk Unit Army and get Fisk Unit tough. Now check it. Have you seen Daniel Bellinger? Have you seen this dude? This man out here looking like Thor. Okay, he out here looking like he ready to grab a hammer and knock off an eagle, cowboy, or watch it the cockroach. He ready to knock him into the next dimension. He ready to send them to the next dimension with Frieza and, and Sal and Radis and everybody else who got clapped. That's what he look like he ready to do. All right, I mean, he on that Barry Bonds right now. I mean, shout out to Daniel Bellinger. He on that Barry Bonds regiment, and I'm loving every second of it, okay? Under no circumstances are we to stick any needles in him. Under no circumstances is he to take any kind of test, answer any questions, keep him away from all doctors. This man went on a straight-up Goku Vegeta Beerus planning training regimen over the last six months that got him looking like he ready to go uh, Russell Mark Henry or something like that. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really proud of him. I condone stuff like this. All right, th th this is what's called taking it personal. Cause hey, look, De Bellinger was all right for us last year. I mean, really, for a rookie, what is it, a fourth round pick? For him to start every game, he was available to start and make plays for us. Be a great blocker. Bellinger really. Wait, when we traded for Darren Wilde, I was like, well, Bellinger wasn't the problem. That's really the first thing that came to my mind. I thought, well, Bellinger really wasn't the problem. You, you feel me? So, the fact that this guy, here's the Darren Wilde, got traded to the Giants. And he goes and does this. He doesn't fold. He doesn't, he, he doesn't get depressed. He doesn't get... And it's you no, know, he definitely got in his feelings. He he was definitely going one one thousand. Fuck Darren Waller. Two one thousand. Fuck Joe Shane. He was definitely in his feelings in his gym. He did not like that trade. But the fact that he took it personal and he went into the gym and he bulked up because he knew with the acquisition of Darren Waller, he's going to be blocking. Because Darren Waller ain't leaving the field. He's our best. Receiver, Darren Waller is the best thing we have on this offense, not named Daniel Jones. So we got Darren Waller. He's going to be all over the field. That allows us to keep Bellinger at the tight end spot because he's a great blocker. Again, he's a great blocker. And quite frankly, when you look at Darren Waller, no disrespect to Kayvon Thibodeau and Ojolari, but, you know, I, I, I don't think they want that smoke. I mean, Bellinger really looked like he might throw Kayvon or Ojolari to the ground and then stomp over him, AI, AI Tyron Lu style. Like, he really might do that. So, you keep Bellinger at the line of scrimmage and you just put Waller wherever you feel like putting him, it allows us to camouflage it. Our 12th personnel is going to be insane next season. And it's like I'm having them – I'm having a Gronk Hernandez flashes in my head like, bro, like, this can work. Like, this can really work. This Giants offense just keep getting better and better and better. We have two tight ends. Two. And they monsters. One is a 6'6 six, six speedster, and the other is built like a damn tank. He looked like Chris Rogers coming out of the damn super serum machine in in, in 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 the first avenger movie remember uh captain america first avenger when, when, when he came out in the machine and, and, and that fine ass what was her name agent peggy carter whatever the hell her name is she was filling on his chest she was gawking on him she was getting wet for him and, and, and you know that's the thing about females right see females females are like cornerbacks okay I, I know this is going to get clipped. I'm sure T2 listening, this is going to get clipped. But a female is like a cornerback. You know, a cornerback has to have amnesia. A cornerback can't remember he just got burnt like breakfast toast on the last play. He got to go back out there like he's still Darrell Rivas or Deion Sanders, even though he's not. He more like Eli Apple, but he can't understand that. 
he can't know he's Eli Apple. He has to remember that he's Darrell Reeves. He's he 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 Sauce Gardner. That's how he has to think. He can't remember he just messed up. A female can ignore a guy completely. A female can pay a guy no attention. She can think he has zero value. He's worthless. Let that motherfucker pull up in, in a nice car with, with a little bit of definition in his arms and his chest. Let him be smelling good. And God forbid he got another woman with him. All of a sudden, this woman just forgets everything she thought about him. And now he is the man. Now she's all gawking at him. She's bending over in front of him. She's feeling on his arm when she talks to him. Now she makes super eye contact. Now, women are like cornerbacks and have amnesia. It just amazes me how this dude was a nothing. Chris Rogers was a skinny little punk, couldn't hurt a fly, and she wanted nothing to do with him. He got out that damn machine now she wanted to marry him. Women are like cornerbacks, bro. Women are like cornerbacks. Um, What was I talking about? The hell was I talking about? I don't even remember. It ain't important. What's important is Daniel Bellinger. Is that dude, and I think he's going to have a good year. I actually think he's going to catch more balls than you might expect, just off the simple fact that the way the Giants are built, I feel like Waller is going to – Waller's going to do – he's going to move around a lot. So I think we're going to have Waller in the slot a lot. We may have Waller at the X a lot. And I think Bellinger, because he's such a great blocker, and has good hands, I think he's going to be on the field a lot, a whole lot. I don't think the Giants are going to want to take him off the field because they don't need to take him off the field because they could just put Waller somewhere else. If y'all get where I'm going with that, kind of like Gronk would stay at the on the line of scrimmage and they would put Aaron Hernandez at the X, they put him in the slot, they put him in, in behind the backfield, at the fullback position, Aaron Hernandez was the one who was moving around a lot. But Gronk, because he was such a great blocker and had reliable hands, they kept Gronk at the line of scrimmage. So I'm thinking that's what the Giants are going to do. Like, you, you, they'll move Waller around like Aaron Hernandez used to do, you know what I'm saying? God bless the dead. And then they'll uh, have Bellinger at the line of scrimmage like Gronk used to do. So... Just more scary, scary options for the Giants, man. This offense just keeps getting better and better and better. And I got a video coming probably on Monday. I don't know if I'm going to drop a Sunday video for you. I might drop a Sunday video for you. I don't know. But I definitely got, I got another OTA video dropping soon, too. So that just even makes this offense even more terrifying. But anyway, that's it. That's all. Shout out to all my ladies out there who who trying to get high value man uh, dick right now, even though they was ignoring him when he was on his come up. Shout out to y'all. We need y'all out there, okay? Us us high value men. We 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 need y'all to stick, keep y'all amnesia so we can get our revenge and then leave you and not call you back and then laugh at your face when you come to us crying like why we played you. So y'all keep y'all amnesia and y'all keep chasing us when we get our get our uh, life together because, you know, we, we, we got to get that get back. We need that. But anyway, that's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.